Ladies and gentlemen, I was kind of wrong. I think Kinnich is actually a genuinely really, really good character. Now, let me rephrase. I said I was wrong because I think he's going to be an okay character and not a lot of people should try to go for him. But I was very wrong. He's actually an incredible, he's actually an incredible character and I think you guys should try to go for him. Now, I don't even have him fully built because I'm missing a lot of his materials here and yeah, I should, I should, you know, start farming for him. Even at level 70, he's still a powerhouse. I'm using the serpent spine on him and I think this is a formidable weapon to use with him. It's just so good and with the refinement rank 5 on this, it's just a no-brainer for me. Even at refinement rank 1, it would still do pretty well. Now, I don't even have his full artifact set yet. I'm still working on it, I'm trying to get as many of these obsidian codex pieces as possible and it's just, it's not looking too good right now. But as I'm farming, I'm still kind of using the character and testing them out and see how he feels. And he feels so good. He's so easy to play with. And I just, I'm good about, I'm sure you guys. Okay, first things first, elemental skill. This is where most of his damage comes from. This isn't bread and butter, okay? At level six, he has a scaling of 962% on his cannon and he can get it off like four times, maybe possibly five depending on the location right now the nice thing about this is the elemental skill is basically his entire kit but also it's just so easy to use it's so easy to use that it's just he it makes him such a no-brainer character now for his elemental burst this just does damage over time and what this burst also does is uh, allows you to get some nice extended duration for your night soul blessing which is your mental skill which is awesome now he is a burning slash virgin looking dendra character this allows him to get more night soul points and it's just it's just better okay now the amount that you need is so minimal you just need one instance of burning and it'll keep going right so it's so easy to have him with that uptime right and then you've got the stacks to help him do more damage. This is his Night Soul Burst. Now, the Night Soul Burst is really strong, and I'll show you guys what in a second. And then you have the, you know, the Natlin perks, where he's able to float around or use the grapple more, which is just so, so nice. Now, I also want to talk about his constellations. His constellations are so good. <laughs> They're so good. His first constellation, gives you a movement speed increase by 30%, which is insane. And then an additional uh, crit damage increase of 100%. This is massive for a C1. This is so strong. And his C2 gets even better. His C2 gives you a free Dendro Resistance Shred. Now, obviously, it's not free. You have to get the Constellation. But what I meant by free is that you don't even need the deep wood set. You just don't. But I think what happens here is it stacks with the deep wood set. And you get 60% dendro resistance. Which is so, so strong. And not to mention, the first cannon that you fire also has the damage increase by 100%. It's just so, so good. And C4 gives you more damage to your burst and a little bit more energy. And C6 just does more damage in general. This is a character that I was, I was pretty wrong about, okay? My bad. I knew that he's going to be fun. I knew that he's going to be pretty strong. But I didn't know how strong he was going to be. And boy, oh boy, did they pull out all the stops for this character. I'm gonna go over here and show you guys a little demonstration. Now, I wanna keep a couple of things in mind for this demonstration. First things first is I don't have all the artifacts and his talents are only at level six and he's only at level 70. So there's all those factors coming into play here, okay? So I'm going to go all out and just use every single character at my disposal to show you guys what he can do. All right, whoa. I mean, that kind of sucked. Should I heal them beforehand? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, 
but Kenich is the first character that you can switch to midair. Like, I'm trying to go to Xiangling or Emily here, but if I switch to Kenich, I'm out swinging. <laughs> That's so sick. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna use his skill without any burning, without anything. Just straight off the bat, 46k. Just like that. I mean, ooh, okay. I, I did die. This is so sick. Okay, here we go. Let's pull out all the stops. Do this. Do this. Let's do everything here. In ult. And then we're gonna use Kinnage. Boom. Boom. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Boom. I mean, if I was critting there, I'd, I'd be chilling. Um, of course, my crit isn't the greatest right now. But once I do get the artifacts going, I'll be critting left, right, and center. That's just a little demonstration of what he can do. He's so, so good. Now, as a character, he is sort of limited by teams on what he can do, since you kind of want that burning reaction to keep going. Um, you're going to have to use a pyro character, one way or another in your team and that's okay but you don't always have to use bennett you can use furina if you really like and you can create like a virgin team which is really nice i definitely think he is an awesome character and one that maybe constellations are going to be worth it for him and if they are it's just it's just a lot and i definitely think he is a great great character but yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye.